women love time and space from a man. And I get pushback from this a lot from females because, you know, as soon as I say this, never fails. It's like clockwork. Oh, we don't like that. That's narcissistic and blah, blah. Because let me tell you why. I'm not talking about every fucking guy, right? I'm not talking about Joe Schmo that's walking down the street that you don't give a shit about, right? I'm talking about men that you are attracted to, sexually attracted to. Because fellas and ladies, right? The ones that just don't fucking get it. You could, look, let me tell y'all something. If a chick is not attracted to you, you could fly to the fucking moon, give her time and space in a space far beyond this galaxy, right? From a time and space far away, and she wouldn't give a flying fuck, right? It is what it like. It's it's human nature. Same thing with with us. If there's a chick that we don't find attractive, she can give a space all the way to Neptune, and we're not gonna give a shit right? We don't give a damn. I'm talking about guys that they are attracted to, right? They love when they get time and space. Do not tell them, do not let them tell you otherwise, because a lot of this main, the mainstream narrative, right? Is that men got to be all hanging off a of chick's clit, right? They got to be like, here's her clit. Here's a guy just hang, hang, hanging off that mug, right? Just hanging off her clit 24 seven. And that's what that's actually doing is, is that's deterring her because there's almost, I don't want to get too, I don't want to make, make it all woo woo, you know, and, and use these mystical terms and shit like that. But there's almost, there's almost an esoteric, uh, essence about giving a woman time and space. There's almost something metaphysical. Right. And I know I lost a couple of people on here like, oh, my God, like he's he's just going off the rails here. He's he on some bullshit. Right. F stick with me. Stick with me, because women that they let me tell you all something for the young ladies that actually will admit this, that are actually some real stand up young ladies, they will admit they love they love when they spend time away from the man that they're attracted to. And then he cut. And then when he comes, they will admit to you that they will be just ready to tear his clothes off as soon as he comes in. They will admit. They will admit this to you. Now all these fake ass, effemist, you know, all these uh, broads that that uh, try to make men more effeminized. They'll tell you something like, "Oh, a man has to worship the ground I walk on and always be there 24/7." Right? Uh, write me love letters on text messages, give me roses every five seconds, right? They're going to tell you to do all of this. And, and the bad part about it is a lot of guys take this terrible advice, horrible advice. They take this horrible advice and end up getting dumped or friend zoned, right? Let me tell you why, why women love when you give them time and space. Like I said, it's going to sound like some esoteric woo-woo type of shit, right? But something with male and female uh, chemistry, right? When a, a woman, her attraction for a man grow... And Corey Wayne said this, right? I, I heard this from Corey Wayne, right? I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and act like I'm just a founder of this shit. I admit when I take inspiration from other people, right? Coach Corey Wayne, he said... Time and space make a woman grow more attractive to you, right? Especially women, especially women. Because it's communicating a couple of things, right? A man, see, look, a, man, a man's nature is to conquer shit, right? A man's nature is to go out there and fulfill his whatever, his, whatever if it's a job, right? If it's your career, you getting bread, you know, in whatever type of way you're doing it, right? Hopefully it's a morally uh, accepted way, but who am I to judge, right? Who am I to say what's moral and what's not, okay? Um, morally accepted way, let's just put it like that. Uh, whether it's your hobby, I don't care. Look, let me tell you guys something, fellas. 
I don't give a good goddamn if your hobby is flying kites. I don't care. Right? When you are doing that, when you're prioritizing yourself, that communicates to the woman that, hey, look, you're not, first of all, you're not desperate, right? Second of all, you're not needy, right? Third of all, you have a life outside of her. Fourth, since you have a life outside of her, you're not going to be clinged up on her 24 seven, right? You're not going to be reliant on her because women do not want you to be reliant on them. They want to rely on you. They're not going to tell you this. They're not going to admit this. And see, fellas, I'm telling you, I'm telling, I'm talking to men about this. I don't mention this to the, to the females. I don't mention some, oh, the reason why, you know, I work so hard and stuff is so I'm not, you know, I don't talk. It's just understood, right? But this is the deeper meaning behind it because you're not reliant on her. She has to be reliant on you. That's just the way it works. That's just the way it is. Get mad if you want to. Look, let me tell y'all something. Men that act not like men, right? Let me tell you how their relationship is going to turn out. Uh, their woman is going to be like, hey, let's have an open relationship with another man, right? She's going to bring another man in, into the picture. And the guy that's feminized going to be like, oh, yeah, sure, honey. Because I love you and respect you, right? Because she doesn't feel that masculine, she doesn't feel that masculine solidness about him. She sees that he's just a big pussy, right? For lack of better terms, he's he's a big pussy. It's turning her off. She's not getting wet, right? He's up under her 24-7. He's blowing her shit up, blowing her phone up 24-7. She senses, she. he's in essence, he's acting like she is, right? That's how she loses attraction. This is going to cause her to lose attraction. You could believe it or not. You could listen to the mainstream, right? Try it for yourself. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you this. If you don't believe it, try it for yourself. You will quickly, you will rather quickly find out the painful truth, right? You will rather quickly find out how south, how sour your interaction is going to go with her, right? I mean, what is it? First of all, I got to ask, why are you so attached? Uh, 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 and look, let me let me get this out the way, right? We all, as men, we love a woman's company. We love her soft. I've said this countless times. There is nothing more I love than the woman I'm dealing with, right? To come, you know what I'm saying? For her to come to me or me to come to her. We spend good time. She has a very soft voice, very soothing voice, very feminine, very, uh, very nurturing, extremely nurturing. And we have great intimacy. And we, you know, I don't want to get too explicit. I don't want this to be tacky. Right. But you guys get what I'm saying. And then afterwards, you know, she's rubbing on my head. She's being very feminine. She makes some food. I love that. We all love that. We all as men, we love it. Right. But to be reliant on it, that's to be, to be super with it. Right. This is fellas. If you don't get nothing else from this video, get this, peep this. The whole gist of this is for you to not be doing too fucking much. Right. Have some balance. Give her some time and don't hit her up every single day. It is, it is plain and have something going on. Have a life going on outside of her. Yes, even if you are fucking married, right? Even if you are in a relationship, have something going on outside of her. She's going to appreciate that. She's going to like that. She might complain about it. She's going to come. Let me tell you guys something. If, you, if you've reached this far into the video, press one right? Or press one, type in one, right? She's going to complain about it. Trust and believe she's going to appreciate, even though she's complaining about it, right? Because another thing about female nature, fellas, is, is a woman is always going to try to throw you off your game. It is just in their female nature. And when you resist it, when you tell, when you show them that, hey, look, 
look, baby, I know you want to see me. I know you want me, but I got shit going on. They're going to want you even the, the, the fact that you're resisting it is masculine, right? They're going to love it even more. They're gonna be like, oh my God, he's resisting me and it's turning me on so fucking much, right? And this is not saying to neglect her. This is not saying to just be like, be gone, woman, right? Like, be gone, bitch, right? Type of shit. This is not the message I'm getting across. But the thing is, you have to show some resistance. That's part of masculine energy is that aggression, is that resistance, right? It's not being compliant. This is, look, when you do this, when, when you give her that time and space, when you make her feel your strength, when you do meet up, right? And you guys do have fun, right? And she likes your personality. She likes your physicality, whatever the hell. Trust me, it is the sex is going to feel a thousand times better. She's going to be a thousand times more. This is how you get her to her feminine side. This is how you unleash her feminine side, so to speak, right? Because the main reason why a lot of young ladies lose their feminine touch with, with men is because these guys turn into doormats. They turn to reliant on her. And females don't like that shit. They hate it, right? They hate when a man is way too reliant on them. It turns them off. Like, comment, subscribe to my shit if you liked it. Peace.